What's up, y'all? My name's Totem Trouser. Uh, as you saw, we just finished the mission. We actually just unlocked Irvin. Uh, I don't know what Irvin does. I've never used it. Um, I always use Jake because Jake is a better mask, but we'll use all the masks. Anyway, so um, we're back with this dude. Uh, we're just going to call him Jake. I don't know. Hollow Mammoth's not big on names, honestly. Um, So that's Alan DeGeneres. <laughs> um, this is my favorite scene in the game, I think. Or at least one of them. He has a hammer. So this is Jacket's house. Um, if you're coming in from Hotline Miami, or maybe you're coming in and not knowing what Hotline Miami one was, this this is his house. Okay, so we're gonna come out here. I love that look on his face. It's just such a Krillin look.
Okay, so here we are. Um, it is a tradition hot in Miami for cop levels to be awesome. And uh, this level is actually pretty rad. So I'm pretty stoked about this. Uh, <laughs> it also always has really good music. This game, uh, this level, no exception. Uh, it's not as good as the music in uh, Hot Miami 1's mu uh, cop level. But hey, guess what? A lot of this, the story of this game is, yeah, it's good, but it's not as good as Hot Miami 1. Uh, we're gonna find that out uh, as we play through this game. That's not me shitting on this game, by the way. I just wanna, like, I, I I like this game. I enjoy playing this game. I don't think this game's as good as Hotline Miami 1, but I also don't think that Fallout 4 is as good as Fallout 3. Um, they're both still pretty good games. Like, I don't hate them. Uh, I could play this game. I enjoy playing this game. Um, there's some parts of this game that irritate me, just like there's some parts of fallout that irritate me um that you know i would like to be able to discuss and this is and like playing through the game i always kind of told myself like maybe i just don't like this game because of the the really really big ass amount of hype that i gave this game um when it was coming out because hot let me won literally one of the best games i've ever played uh so like when this game came out and it is more of just Hotline Miami 1, but it kind of isn't in in very key ways. Um, and, and I think that's honestly the thing that end, ends up being the death knell for me with Hotline Miami 2. Is that, like, I don't know what they would have changed. I, I honestly don't even know why they would have made a Hotline Miami 2, if I'm being real with you. Um, like... I, I like the idea that there's just more levels. There's a level creator now. Maybe we'll check that out at some point. I don't know why I keep rushing in there when I don't have a gun. Um, but yeah, like there are some cool changes in this game that I do like. Um, those, some of the mask ability... Fuck, I knew that was coming. Some of the mask abilities in this game are really good. And, uh, and I really can't wait to show you them. Uh, they're very interesting and fun. Some are terrible. Uh, so, you know, it is very much a... you. Yeah, I, I, I was not winning that one. Um, it is very much a give and take. I I don't know. I don't feel like... When this game came out, it received a lot of flack. I don't know if that was necessarily all fair. But, um, but yeah. Uh, I, I, I almost feel like this Let's Play is going to be kind of a video essay. Like a very long incoherent um, video essay in which I kind of just discuss you know what I personally think went wrong in this game uh because it was a why would you go back there um it was a very disappointing game for me and yeah uh sorry uh there this game sometimes requires my attention so I can't just be like like it sometimes just cuts me off mid-sentence because I'm trying to do something because it's so high stakes, which I, I did. Fuck. Um, I timed that wrong. Uh, I dig that. I do. But yeah, so that's, you know, if I ever just stop talking, it's, it's probably because I'm trying to focus on doing the thing. Ha, bitches. Fucking seven times multiplier. Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. Take that shoddy. Okay. I hate this floor in particular. This is one of the floors... Um, I just, For some reason, I have it down to memory because I hate it so much. Uh, it. I don't even know why. It's not that bad of a floor. It's just the layout of it and the two roving guards. They always get me. So we're actually about to be introduced to uh, another reason why I, I think Hot Miami has a lot of problems and my mouse that I'm called John's on that. My mouse wasn't spinning the way I wanted it to. Ooh, man, what is happening here? Hold up. <laughs> okay, much better. Uh...
So this SWAT dude that you're gonna see over here in a quick second uh, is a specialty enemy in the sense that he can only be killed, I believe via gunshot, but I don't remember specific. Um, so we're gonna sit here and wait for him because I actually don't remember what kills this guy. Nope. Yeah, guns knock him down, and then you have to f rip his head off. Okay, so that shouldn't, that doesn't seem like a big deal, right? Um, those, that, those enemies were in Hotline Miami 2, or I'm sorry, Hotline Miami 1. They were there. Uh, so I can't say that the inclusion of them is all around bad. What I can say is that those enemies were in Hotline Miami 1 um, sparsely. Uh, in this game, they're all over the place. Uh, and it's part of the the thing I mentioned earlier uh, in episode one, where Highland Miami 1 gets, is hard. It's a hard game. It gets hard. It's like, it, it's still pretty hard from the get go, but it's a little bit more forgiving. This game, you would think, right? A sequel kind of starts that over a little bit, right? The, the difficulty chain. Like you don't go into God of War 2 expecting it to be as challenging as the end of God of War 1. Um, that's just not what you do. You don't do that. Um, because a lot of the times the games have new things that they want you to see and be good at and experience. Hala Miami does not give you that. Um, it, Hala Miami doesn't care about that shit. Uh, and Hala Miami 2, in my opinion, starts off as hard as the ending of Hala Miami 1. Uh, like it, 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 there is no difficulty curve. You have already curved the difficulty and, and now you are just continuing to play more of those levels. Um, oh, so when you're a big guy, sometimes you could take a bullet, like you could take a pistol bullet. Um, but anyway, so Hala Mami 2, it, it continues that difficulty. It does not get like there, it, and, it, it's a pain in the ass because it never gets... It never starts you off at a fair level. By the way, that that's another dude right there. Takes two shotgun shots. Uh, another specialty enemy. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to get tilted in this game. It's just going to happen. It's the way it works. It will happen. I actually have already fucked up. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, what is happening with my mouse? It's like not responding in a way that I would like it to. So I'm not spinning all the way. Uh, move my microphone a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a shit show. Okay, cool. So like that dude, right? Because I didn't have any bullets there, I was dead. I, I literally had no answer. And that's the problem with specialty enemies in Hotline Miami. You're supposed to be flexible, but if you just happen to be kitted out the wrong way and you don't see it coming, up, oh, you're sorry, you're dead. There is no, like, forgiveness there, you know? Um, that's the, my main gripe with specialty enemies. That big dude that we kind of just murked, um, if I had, for example, not had that shotgun... That dude would have killed me. Uh, that enemy is in particularly annoying because if you shoot him with anything stronger than a shotgun or it's weaker than a shotgun, he will keep coming at you. Um, until, like he will die eventually. It's not like you can't kill him with anything other than a shotgun. You can, but it will take a minute. Uh, cause he has to bleed out. That's how that character works. If you take a shotgun to your stomach, you're going to bleed out way faster. Um, than, than, you know, a normal per, like, you know, you're going to bleed out. Then if I, if I, if I put a pistol in your stomach and a shotgun in your stomach, you're, you're, you're living shorter with the shotgun. Um, so fuck. Why did I even, ah, Come on. There we go. That dude's such a... Like, he patrols, right? That's his whole gimmick. But he sucks at it. Because literally, he would just walk right past you, putting a shotgun in his face. 
We're just gonna wait for him. It's also the only time this enemy shows up, I think, actually. Weirdly enough, like this dude in particular only shows up during this time. It's very strange. I don't understand why. See? See how he's not going down? But he will, eventually. But did you see how much longer that took? It took a long time. Okay, I think this next guy has a baton, so I'm not too worried about him yet. Cool, grab that. Uh, they will shoot at you in here. Oh, wait. I don't have everyone dead. Okay. Get keys. Who am I getting keys from? The, this guy? Yep. So, uh, what that's implying, that Martin's dead. And we're also through the first act. This is going to be a very quick let's play. Uh, I honestly think maybe we'll probably cap under 15 episodes, but it all depends on how well I play. Um, that's Jacket, by the way, sitting in uh, the defendant. Like, uh, the chair, like, you can see him. He's right next to, he's the first person you can see on the left. Um... You can see the masks, the gun, the bloody jacket. So at the end of Hotline Miami 1, um, they, it, they left it ambiguous as to whether or not Jacket or Biker survived uh, their fight. Uh, this game is confirming that Jacket did survive that fight. So the people who were running the scam in Hotline Miami 1 never died. Oh, I'm sorry. Jack is the one playing with the marble. Remember, that's what Jacket thought. Jacket, the whole time, thought it was the Russian mob making him do things. Fuck the music in this game so good. By the way, if you're keeping track, this is playable character number four, I believe. Yes, playable character number four.
Okay. I always just like to try and get in on all these people's shots. It's not like Hitman where actually bad things happen to you, but it is fun. Uh, hey, don't these uh, people look somewhat familiar? They should. Okay, so we're actually going to continue next time on Let's Play uh i almost said castlevania let's play hotline miami 2 uh in the meantime you guys take care of yourselves and uh stay beautiful